Penny Five here, bringing you another episode. In today's episode, guys, we got a technical analysis on Polymath here, but currently down about seven percent for the day, sitting just below thirty-two cents, sitting at 0.319. Uh, really quick, though, guys, what is Polymath? Polymath is a protocol to facilitate the primary issuance and to restrict the secondary trading of blockchain security tokens. Uh, so, Polymath uh, basically uses a blockchain-based protocol that uh, provides a suite of tools to coordinate and incentivize participants to collaborate and launch financial products onto the blockchain. So essentially what Polymath is doing is pretty much just um, bridging the gap between financial security such as venture capitals, bonds, stocks, private equities, um, but basically tokenizing it, uh, tokenizing securities and making it more accessible for everyone. But really quick though guys, before we take a look at Polymath's website, let's go ahead and run through the uh, cryptocurrency market. Check this out, I think this is pretty funny. You can now uh, you know, compare your crypto and Lambo Go ahead and hit that. So it cost about 0.03416505 Lambo to get you a Bitcoin right now, which I find pretty funny. Ripple, you know, you're gonna need a lot, lot, lot less. <laughs> 0.00000243. But I think that's a pretty cool little uh, thing that they added there. Bitcoin down about two percent for the day, guys. Though sitting at just below seven thousand, market cap sitting at two uh, two hundred and fifty four million or billion. Sorry, uh, today's volume eleven point three billion. Bitcoin dominance 40, 45.5. Ethereum down four and a half percent. Ripple down five. Bitcoin Cash down six. Uh, Litecoin down almost two. There. Who are the big losers today? Let's see. Or big winners? XPA, Verge, Pivx, and R Chain. Wow, XPCA up almost twenty percent. Big losers today, Bitem down 12, Mithril down 12, Storm down 10, almost 11, ISO token down almost 11 as well. But you guys came here for some polymath, technical analysis, market cap sitting at 76 uh, million, today's volume 349,000, circulating supply here guys, 239 million, total supply 1 billion, major exchanges here, Qcoin, IDX, BitBNS, and EtherDelta and the DDX. Let's go ahead and take a look at their website really quick before we take a look at the price action, polymath, a securities token platform, join their telegram if you guys are interested. Mentioned on Bloomberg, Financial Post, CoinSquare, VentureBeat, Forbes, Financial Digest. So Polywath Network Explainer video, I definitely recommend you guys watch this. It, you know, straight to the point, basically explains what it's going to be used for. And this video was presented in their Miami conference uh, in 2018. The next mega trend in crypto is the emergence of security tokens. Security tokens versus utility tokens, owner of asset. Investors expecting profit, regulating offerings, know your customer, um, utility tokens, access to protocol, purchasers, unregulated crowd sales, tokenized ownership, so real estate, unit to tokens, equity, stock to token, venture cap, LP shares to tokens. They're just trying to tokenize everything. I like the idea of it. Program equity, crypto fundraising, global access to markets, no middleman, lower fees, access to a 2 billion unbanked. Security token 2.0, polymath empowers trillions of dollars financial securities to effortlessly migrate to the blockchain, know your customer, liquidity, collaboration, creative, polymath. <laughs> the securities token stampede is imminent. 2015, Bitcoin, Litecoin, ERC20, Gnosis, EOS, Filecoin, and Polkadot. And now we're over here with polymath in 2018, ST20, Venture Fund, Venture Capital, Real Estate, and Commodities. I'm excited. I like the idea. That's pretty cool. IPO 2.0. Nice little diagram that they drew here for you guys. Legal delegates, developers, provider listing, polymath. I'm not going to dive too much. It does look a little bit complicating. But it's probably going to take us some time. Team here, we're not going to dive too much into their team because it will take a little bit of time as well. Join their team. They are, they are hiring if you guys are interested. Their advisors is what I feel like is pretty interesting. So the alchemist right here, Stephen Neroff. And then oh, <clears throat> owner of owner, Patrick Beeren. I'm not sure if he's the owner of the CEO of Ownerstock, but... I know that one was pretty big. This one right here, Shapeshift, Eric. And then we also had co-founder of Ethereum. And then where was the oh, founder at Factum, another big one. And then there was one more, I believe, or two more. Founder of Rubik's Consulting uh, Analysis at Alphabet. Founder at Shitoshi Roundtable. Chief Information Security Officer at Shapeshift. Where's the other one? Oh, I think that was it. Yes, that was it. But they got a nice little website here, guys. Pretty simple. Pretty straightforward, nice little clean design. Uh, they got their ST20 token, the white paper, which I definitely recommend you guys read. Let's go ahead and click on this ST20 token really quick. Trying to keep this video nice and short. 
We are bringing together legal professionals, business, and developers to create and redefine a standard for security tokens. If none of none of the above applies to you, no problem. Sign up for the latest updates. Build this, so you can build your own token here, which is, looks pretty cool, but we're not going to do that. It's going to take a little bit too long. Let's go ahead and look at Bitcoin's price action here. This is the weekly. Came down as low as 6,300. You know, still no signs of slowing down, guys, to be honest. I think we're going to hit five. I don't see any, you know, no signs of slowing down. We'll see what happens here, though. Starting to get a little bit of candles. Maybe we'll consolidate for a bit and we'll, maybe we'll find support. But, you know, I think we'll have to wait and see. You know, I don't want to say anything just yet because this could be a double bottom, you know. We have a bottom, a bottom, and I, it could be a bottom. We're going to have to wait and see. I'm going to have to wait for that daily confirmation before, you know, we do decide to take any, um, oh, look, Ethereum starting to fall. Any forward moves. Let's look at the daily. Oh yeah, I think Ethereum's gonna break this as well. I think Ethereum comes down to about 275, guys. That's the target I'm sticking with for Ethereum. No signs here of slowing down. Nice little, you know, it looked like we were gonna form a higher, or like, uh, sorry, it looked like we were gonna close this candle in the green. However, we came all the way back down and formed a nice little upside down doji. And then now today, it looks like we're starting to head towards the downside. So I think Ethereum's actually come down to about 275, guys. Remember, this is just my personal opinion, I'm not a financial advisor. Litecoin still looking very bearish. Uh, I'm still saying Litecoin's gonna hit $75. Again, just my personal opinion, not a financial advisor. Got some nice little wicks here that form, nice little tweezer top. This candle formed uh, lower than this candle. So it definitely looks like we're probably gonna continue towards the downside. I'm gonna say 75 is my target. Let's probably put a line. This is where I think, you know, Litecoin finds support, but who knows, you know, let's wait and see. Don't, you know, Remember, this is just my personal opinion. I'm not a financial advisor, but wait, you know, wait for these daily confirmation guys. Don't rush into into buying any of these coins. Yes, they're cheap, don't get me wrong, but, you know, they're going to continue to fall a little bit more, um, I think, but I would just be patient. Don't rush into anything, you know, stack your fiat while you can, and when it's ready to buy, just be ready to buy. But you guys came here for some polymath, um, oops, where's the little... Polymath technical analysis. This is Polymath BTC on the daily. Qcoin is the broker we're using. Unfortunately, they're not on the TradingView platform. So this is the only uh, data we have. Uh, All-time high here at about, what is this? 15,500 Satoshis. And then our all-time low looks like about 4,000 Satoshis. Looks like a pretty solid support. Um, however, I wouldn't you know just buy it yet. What I'm looking for is actually for it to break and close about 5,000 Satoshis. 5, Satoshi. And once it does break and close 5,000 Satoshis, I'll definitely be looking to add to my position here with Poly uh, Math. I like the idea of it. It's not going to be a huge part of my portfolio, but it's going to be a, a small part of it. I like the idea of it. it. should be, you know, I think something that's going to pop, something that's going to be pretty popular. Um, but again, guys, just my personal opinion, not a financial advisor. Where do I see Polymath going? Um, I see Polymath coming up to its all-time high here at about 15,500 Satoshis towards the end of 2018. Um, you know, depending on how long this downtrend keeps going, you know, we could be starting to push these prices a little bit more towards 2019, maybe two or three months within 2019. But I'm going to stick with the, towards the end of 2018. But again, guys, it's just my personal opinion. I'm not a financial advisor. But that's, you know, pretty much it for today's video, guys. Don't forget to re-steam, upvote, comment down below what kind of coins you guys are trying to see. If you guys are on YouTube, make sure you guys are subscribed, turn on post notifications, and you give this video a thumbs up. Other than that, guys, thanks for watching. Take it easy. Peace.